Well, we got some updates. We got some good news, we got some bad news. I busted my other camera, which made recording everything a lot more doable. With the current camera I'm recording now, it is a DSLR and the autofocus is pretty bad. Can't really record outside of my house with this camera because uh, it's crap. And it's annoying to deal with when I'm training, so yeah. This is the lens, I actually dropped this and the little piece broke off. I fixed the little piece that broke off and I'm super untechnical so I cannot put this back together. So I'm just trying to sell this camera for now and then upgrade. I didn't know what video I was gonna make considering that I don't have a solid camera to record with. So uh, this week I actually used my cell phone. So if you realize I'm wearing this super ugly hoodie, but I did not pay for it. Jed North sent it out to me, so thank you Jed North. They sent it out to me to make some TikTok videos um, this thing, kind of unwearable um, outside of home. I made a TikTok for Jed North, it's pretty cool. I do have a bit less time in my schedule to make videos. I'm still gonna make videos because this is a freaking passion. I can't just give up on the passion. We're gonna make a video on general tips for powerlifting. It's nothing too specific, so you can just listen on, hear my thoughts on training, understand a little bit more about my training. Maybe some of these tips will help out too. So I get a lot of questions asking about my warm up, and this is pretty much it. I do a couple of side swipes and a couple of kickbacks, and that's pretty much to loosen up my hips and my, get my glutes warmed up. I don't like to waste a lot of energy nor time warming up, and ultimately it's personal preference, and I'm good to go after a couple of these warm up movements. And if you're wondering about my mobility, I don't do any mobility anymore. I used to do mobility when I was getting back into training just to get the range of motion and flexibility that I needed, but after a certain point, I feel like once you fix your problems, you don't really need to keep doing it if you're actively training. Obviously, if I do get a problem with like pain or something, or I've noticed that something is off, then I'll go back and spend more effort in it. But at this point in my training program, um, mobility is not the main focus. And if I were to do mobility, it would be after a workout. So if you saw my recent videos, you notice I don't squat the mirror, and that's because I'm focusing mostly on the feel rather than the depth. And as you saw, 455 was not dead, we're at parallel. And if you want to make any changes, I suggest making changes um, after recording a set, not during your set. And that's why I don't really recommend squatting with the mirror. So I actually hit a PR 505 for three, I've never done that before. So training is going excellent. I'm expecting something big. So if it looks like I'm not even struggling in my workout, it's because I am not training to failure. I'm training very sub-max, meaning the idea of my training is not to reach failure, but to accumulate fatigue. And sometimes you'll have overlap where in training you'll hit PRs, but don't get mistaken, training's not supposed to be prioritized for PRs. The purpose of training is to do in the work, finish a training program, receive the benefits of that training program and then hit your PR. But sometimes training goes extremely well and you end up hitting PRs in training, such as this training cycle. So if you're wondering why these videos keep jumping back from July, that is actually when I started and it's pretty much on point with how everything's been going. It's exactly eight weeks into the program, so approximately two months. And that is why I am kind of testing out my, not one rep maxes, but testing out my heavier lifts because I'm getting ready for the next block, which is in our four week block. And that's to finalize this program of which I'll be hitting my real one rep maxes after that four week block. So I guess the question you guys must be having is when to get on a program. And to answer that, I would not suggest a program for a newbie lifter that's making gains without any structured training. There's only two reasons of which I'd see a training program useful. The first situation I can see yourself needing a program is that you hit plateau and Without any structure training, you can't make any progress. The second reason I see someone using a program is to avoid injury. If you're someone that gets injured a lot in training, you probably have trouble judging if you're ready or not to do XYZ amount of weight. So a program, a good program will help you um, close the gap between that disconnect of how you feel and how you should perform. So coming up is actually a bench PR. I never hit 315 for more than a double pause. So hitting it for a set of three times two sets is actually a huge PR. So if you're wondering how I warm up for my top sets, I actually don't do many reps or sets before entering my top set. 
Reason being, I don't want to exert myself too much in the warm-ups, so I usually stay under singles for around 75%, and that's pretty much how I progress to the next lift. So I also want to address something. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, oh my god, the amount of progress you're making is like taking steroids. And I would agree, if I was never trained before and I made this progress, I'd be like, holy cow, this person's on steroids or some PED. But one factor comes into play that makes all the difference is muscle memory or myonuclei. And for myself, I haven't took a break in training longer than two weeks in the past four years before this pandemic. So yeah, I took a huge hit in pandemic. I lost like 15 to 20 pounds. And coming back, I was weak as hell. Everything came back quick because of the muscle memory I had from the past. Um, nothing what's coming out of my PRs is unexpected. I mean, a little bit because I didn't think I was gonna have such a hard rebound, but I'm actually making progress. So maybe this temporary pandemic break was a good thing for the gains. Not everyone is properly informed, so you can't really blame anyone for having these accusations. To recap, if I was never trained and I made this progress, I would even suspect steroids. But since I was trained for four years straight, it's myonuclei, muscle memory, and the fact that I know how to train that is making me have all this quick progress. So as you just saw, that was a PR 605 two sets two. That's pretty much the video, I guess. If you're wondering, yes, I'm 100% natty. These gains are loyal, so I won't like all of a sudden lose all my mass unless we enter another pandemic or get injured, that is. And yeah, stay tuned if you're interested in seeing my progress. I'm gonna be hitting some real one rep maxes probably in like five weeks from now because I need to do a four week block plus a one week deload. And I should be hitting some crazy numbers. Then seeing my day to day progress, uh, check out my Instagram at IG and my TikTok videos, I have like quick help videos, uh, fit by power on TikTok. That's about it. Peace out. Like the video and subscribe. Forgot to say that again.